Maraknya kasus bullying atau tindak penindasan yang terjadi di lingkungan pendidikan yang dilakukan oleh sejumlah so, pelajar SMP Negeri di Mawar, Jawa Timur yang diduga menjadi korban kasus ini dengan memanggil sejumlah pihak sekolah para remaja putih. Bullying ekspresi menyimpang pada anak dalam upaya pencarian jati diri, peran pendidikan di keluarga dan sekolah masih sangat dipertanyakan. Bullying terus berlanjut dalam upaya pencarian jati diri, peran pendidikan di keluarga dan sekolah masih sangat dipertanyakan sebagai penyeimbang. Respect my audience who watch my video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ida Yukomampratnya Paramita with my student number 21015411880 standing here before you all to deliver my persuasive speech. I hope you all are feeling amazing as I'm right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you about negative bullying outcomes. When we think about school, we think about the learning process, banning placemates, maintaining meaningful relationship and achieving academic goals. What our reminds out of the frame of idealistic picture is ostracizing, insults, and pusses that are still way too common in school environment. Bullying is an umbrella term for intentional target aggression within a social group and pervasive issue that is difficult to get rid of. Bullying is a big deal. Yet, many people miss the point. They do not see that bullying as that a big of problem. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that bullying is much more insidious than it seems it can ruin a person's life. Firstly, bullying leads for academic performance. After all, how the student can properly concentrate on the learning process if they are attacked and distracted? It is really imaginable how the impact of bullying on the person's learning capacity can persist into high school, college, and compromise their prospect. Bullying takes enormous toll on a person's mental well-being. Many of bullied children have different psychiatric problems such as anxiety and depression. On top of that, bullying has proven to be quite persistent. And despite that, bullies often have low empathy, a skill that people need in life to bond and maintain relationship. Bullying needs to be stopped not only for the sake of saving the victim, but also to prevent the aggressors from developing unhealthy behavioral patterns. Ladies and gentlemen, to conclude the existing scientific evidence suggests that bullying leads many negative outcomes for these effects. For this reason, we need to take action at all levels. Government, school, and individuals should all take part in the healing process. Bullying should be prevented or should it occur, reported, and taken care of as soon as possible. An issue as serious as bullying should not be taken lightly. It is your quality of life and future perspective that are at the stake. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for my speech. I hope we've learned something new from it. Thank you very much for watching my video.